Yes, I am uninstalling Pixel App. Yes, I am moving on to some better app that I found out for graphic design. And yes, I think you should move on to this new application that I am going to suggest in this video. Everybody knows that a lot of the features on Pixel Lab are not working. Like the emboss effect is not working, the 3D text effect is not working. And a lot of the effects won't work just because it is not getting any updated. Like it is not getting any new Android updates. So that's why I think this is the right time to move on to some other application that I found out on internet and I think it is going to be a better application for you for your graphic design on mobile stuff. In this video I'm going to be talking about this application and how it is better than Pixel Lab and uh, yeah a lot of the things are new in this channel as well as you can see. So yeah I hope you will watch this video till the end but before we start this video let's roll the intro and start this video. Okay, so the app that I'm suggesting today is Canva. No, this is not a sponsored video from Canva, but this is something that I actually came up with, and I think this app is a lot better than Pixel app that we have been using for the past like two years. This app is actually one of the best apps out there because it can also convert into a fully fledged design you know, software on your PC and you can edit your same stuff from Canva app to your same PC software or same PC browser website. And this is how the Canva works. This is basically an online editing site which will let you download or create designs, graphic designs obviously and you can also use them to share with your other people and this is something that it comes in a package and this is a lot different than photoshop and illustrator and i will tell you that why it is different and what are the cons of the canva app so the first con is going to be this app is or this website or canva is actually globally accepted a lot of the people from all around the world are using canva to edit stuff and just because it is simple than like let's say other softwares like photoshop and illustrator and everybody can just go and edit their templates they can use some other templates as well or they can buy templates from people and make their own changes and that is just way too much easy just because you don't have to install a software you just don't have to know everything from the software and that is why the simplicity of the canva app or the design website helps a lot better than there are other applications are like so the rest of the applications are just too complex and canva is a little more easy into the some you know easier way the another pro con that canva has that it has a lot of big community like i said this is globally accepted and a lot of the people are using it so through this a lot of the big community has been formed from the canva users canva designers there are inter instagram pages on instagram there are youtube channels on canva those will tell you how to make money on Canva, let's say from graphic design on Canva, selling templates from Canva. And this is actually way too much big than Pixel Lab. So this is kind of a con over Pixel Lab that it has a big community all set up for you to go there. So you will just have to know the skill. You will just have to know Canva application or Canva website. Then you will have just more doors to make money and you will have more, you know, community as well, like big community as well to support you, to get you started, to make you sales as well for your graphic templates. So that is the second big con from Canva. The third big update or the big, uh, you know, con that I can think of Canva is the continuous updates. I have seen this application for like uh, six months and I have seen that a lot of the updates have a lot of the new features that Canva has added for their graphic designers so that they can use it in a much better way like this app is actually adding more features into their list and this is getting better and bigger every day so that's what i think is best because in pixel lab we are always getting the same effects the same features and they are not adding any more features into that application so that is something can limit our design skills and i don't really want to happen to you so i don't want to limit your skills and i don't want to limit your imagination as well and use of the effects if you're using more effects into your designs your designs will also look good yeah like different so that's what i think it is like if you are using new features then your designs will also look good and this is what it makes different. this is really good in canva that they are adding new features you are having more chances of getting into more graphic design you know like creating more new content the fourth thing that i can think of is right now free templates 
now everybody knows if you know like canva already then you know that there are a lot of the free templates that you can use to create your own stuff that you can just have to make changes to it and that is what makes it a lot of you know good for canva because if you if you are a new person like you don't know canva and if you go on canva then you will know all the free templates you will see the all this free templates on the first page where you will just have to make basic changes like a text change or an image change and basically you will create your own design that that's what makes it people uh, makes people use it and i think that's what you can also use it for you can create the re recreate the templates that are available over there and then you will eventually you will know how to create your own template and sell on canva and that is something that also is different and good in compared with pixel lab and i think that is also going to add more value to your graphic design skill if you are using canva let's say for creating your graphic designs and that is something that is also a good example of being good in a good way okay enough of talking about the cons and cons of canva let's open the application itself and once you open it this is how you will see it you will see a lot of this free templates that you can see that you can edit and make your own so this is what makes it more you know uh, enjoyable and this is what it makes it more you know different from pixel lab and another you know all the rest of the applications that you could de design on that this application is providing you free templates that are good enough that are well designed as well and you can straight up use them so this is what which will help you learning the app itself you scroll through it you as you can see there are multiple types of like uh, templates you can see thumbnails right here you will see facebook posts you will see instagram posts stories even short videos yes you can also use and edit short videos over here in this app and that is insane i think so as you can see this is this is full of features and this is full of templates that you can use but let's say if you want to create your own design if you want to create your own template then what is you going to do is you're going to click on this plus icon and you will get to see this all this uh you know inventory of sizes that what you are making right now so let's say I am going to go click on the poster size right here and this will open up the standard size or the standard elements as well. As you can see, this is how it looks like. This app is actually works with internet. So it might load up if you don't have a proper internet and that is what it you will have to make sure that you are connected to a good internet source. And once you are like into the app, once you open the basic, uh, you know, the interface, you will see this plus icon right here where you can add you know text or things like that if you scroll through this uh, this is what actually similar with pixel lab so if i compare pixel lab and canva side by side you can literally see the difference you know like how much similar it is and how much different it is you can see it by yourself look at these features right here in there below you will get to see the similar features right on the pixel lab as well and i think that is really great i think uh, this will help you to understand pixel lab or understand canva in in a better way possible because it the functions are actually similar somewhat just like you see over here so as you can see this was the last project that i was editing on canva and uh, as you can see if you click on this plus icon right here then you will be able to see a lot of the templates that you can download elements you can download and uh, these are the templates so if you go into this element section then you will be able to see a lot of the elements right here as you can see there are multiple types of elements that you can use and you will just have to click on them select them you can also select something that you really want to like want to add on your project and that is can be searchable over here on the search box and then similar you can also upload photos from your galleries as well from this option right here then you will see all your photos from your memory card that you can upload them right there and use them even if uh, along with that you will see upload option right here and also you can select uh, media option right here then along with that you will he see a text option right here so yeah that is more features that is the most features that you can use there are also more features that you can see right here but i just want to give you a basic overview of the app so if you see that if you want to add something like let's you select some image then you will see all those features like this so this is the image that lock it is locked right now to unlock it i will just click on the unlock option right here and by this is the image that we have added so you can move it around like just like this there are auto grid function as well like auto alignment function as well so which will show you the you know proper alignments then you can see the duplicate option the effects option 
the filter option where you can actually you know apply filter to it which is missing from pixel lab then you can see a flip option the anime option where you can actually animate it and create the video you can see transparency and all these features so these are you can relate to it right you can similarly see on the pixel lab as well that these features are actually similar or related to the pixel lab that you were using before so yeah if you select some text right here let's say i'm gonna select a text which is right here so this is the text that i selected right now now you will see a lot of like edit option right here delete option duplicate option then fonts function and all the fonts are similar all the free fonts are available right here along with that you will see some good text effects as well like literally typographies are made up over here and you will just have to use the typography directly so that is also another option then color option then you can you know also see all those similar options right here then yeah if you scroll through you will find a lot of the effects are similar just like pixel lab and you can just know them just by looking at them so that is what the pixel lab and canva differentiation looks like i know it is going a little faster now to know like to let you know the canva app but if you want to know like canva in detail or if you want me to explain canva in detail then i will make a dedicated video for that separately but in this video i just wanted to make sure that you know the application you should understand the difference and you should understand how the canva can help you into design into better way and how canva will eventually make you make more money because that is this first uh, question is like how you can make money from your graphic design skills and to make money you should know the application that works with other people that is more trendy that is more like ha that is has more more features and that is simple to understand and that is the application that can make you good money because it has more potential and that's why i am suggesting you canva today and i am continuously showing you the screen recordings as well right here on the screen to you know make you understand guys that this is not something that you think if you think it is complex or difficult then it is definitely not that difficult and you can just get the use of canva just like you did with pixel app so this is the video guys i think you will know that this app is has more potential this app has a lot of you no know, good uh, features that you can use and that is why i am recommending to you guys as well so this is the canva app i am also going to use this application into some of my like like future videos i might come up with more you know template design or poster design videos on this application itself and till then i just want you to download this app from the link in the description which is the play store link you can also search for canva app on play store and download it from there that is just simple and also check out some other canva beginner design but canva design beginner uh, videos out there that you can see and do your research as well like i want you to search out there that how this application is how many people are working with it and everything that you can know about this app or this website in general and that is something that you should do on your own as well so this is the video guys i hope you understood the importance of you know switching into some good application and i hope you got the idea that how canva actually works and if you have many more queries or any more questions to that you want to ask me then you can de definitely comment me down in the comment box below all the links all the related links or if you want to still check out more videos from pixel lab then there are related video links in the description as well if you want any more templates any more graphic design templates or images png files then do check out my telegram page and also do follow me on instagram as well as you can see on the screen and all of that good stuff and as always uh, i will catch you guys in my next one till then keep on creating graphic content and i will be sure that i will come up with more videos like this peace